Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me from. Um, this is still Akita Chidi. Um, I want to thank everyone that subscribed to our channel. And I also want to thank those that are sticking around to our channel. God bless you all. God bless you all. I appreciate. And I say God bless you in this new year. So this uh, morning, from where I am now, is morning. So I'll be talking about um, discipline, having self-discipline. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, about self-discipline. And I'm going to tell you how you are going to apply it in your building project, in your plans, in your plans to acquire land, in your plans to acquire properties, in your plans to acquire um, investments. I'm not talking about luxury. I'm talking about investments. Um, um, I did a project for somebody in 2019. In 2019, um, that was a woman um um the reason why we are able to finish that project you know why is because the woman applied self discipline a lot of self discipline i i i had a bond like we we talked a lot about the project and um how efficient we can be able to finish a five bedroom duplex right now the woman has finished the house but she have not packed in. It's a long time project that I know, but she has finished the house, testfully finished. But she have not packed in. A few, a few things um, is left for her to finish up. So discipline is applying to every phase of our life, how to manage our lives, how to manage our spendings, how to manage um, our investment goals, because if you are waiting for all the money to be there, you cannot do anything. I wanted to buy a laptop last year to improve my drawings and to upgrade to um, um, V rendering. I, the, the money was almost a million because the type of system I wanted to buy was almost a million. Um, Alienware. I wanted to buy a superior because my system was the last system I was using was called i7, um, HP called i7. I said I must buy a system last year, <laughs> and I checked the system. It it keeps increasing day by day, keeps increasing day by day, but I have to cut down on a lot of things for me to be able to buy that system. I bought the system almost a million, million two, but it it pays and and my drawings have improved i've done four drawings for people this new year and it's quite it's quite amazes me and i have not actually learned the the rendering I, I bought the system for because of time but i will still do that this year but my my joy is that i disciplined myself to actually get the system first it's quite costly and i have a lot lot of responsibility on my head last year and i still bought the system and i find out that there is nothing there is nothing that self-discipline cannot do if you actually want to excel every morning last year i used to wake up in the morning the first thing i have to do is just wake up press my phone wake up press my phone check my whatsapp check my instagram check my youtube to know if there is any messages and I know it's not right. The first thing I should do in the morning is, as a Christian, I have to pray. And it, it came as a bad habit for me, and I struggled with it, but I have to cut that bad habit. I have to cut that bad habit. And I started praying first thing in the morning. On this year, I have another plan, but I will let you guys know at towards the end of the year, how I'm able to actualize that plan. This last year, I I planned on doing so many YouTube videos. I did some, <laughs> I tried, but that was not what I wanted to do. And this year, I'm going to do more. Last year, I met wonderful clients. I met wonderful clients. I met wonderful people here. 
people that came to ask questions, people that gave me drawings to do, people that gave me um, contracts. You are the reason why I'm, why I'm, I'm at least I'm, I'm seeing money to eat. I'm not into fraud. <laughs> and those people are still watching me. And I'm, I'm grateful to God that they are happy. I discipline myself not to disappoint anybody. That is my self-discipline. I discipline. If I tell you that your drawing is going to be ready before one week, I'll present it to you. I'll give you one week so that you will not doubt me. But before one week, I'll give you that drawing. If I tell you two days, before that two days, I'll give you that drawing. If I tell you your project is starting today or next week, that project is starting that next week. It's discipline. And you, as a client that want to actually build a house this year, since you are having a source of income, what you have to do for you to be able to actualize your project dreams is to be disciplined in your spending, to be disciplined in your investment, to be disciplined in the way you spend your money, to be disciplined to apply the right people at the right places. That is how to actualize your dreams. I know so well that my videos have helped a lot of people, even though they may not come out to say it publicly, even though that so many people will say, this cost is too much. I am not give, I'm not telling you so that you give me your money. I'm only telling you so that you have idea. That you have ideas. I've met people that came to me for projects and the estimate I did was, uh, 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 in, in the estimate they did, they saw on YouTube, I have to redo an estimate for them and it was way higher. And I said, something you did on YouTube is, is different from what you gave me and the same project it depends on taste so please this year we are going to be disciplined enough to know the right things to do we are going to be disciplined enough to give me your project <laughs> one of the things i have determined to do this year is not to disappoint people i have talked with people i'm a young guy but i, I know I've, I've i've actually talked with people i've handled people's projects i've handled people's resources one of the best, if if you can be able to get that trust from people, from people, when it comes to money, you were selling our work. And I'm proud to say that last year I did not eat anybody's money without doing that person's work. I'm proud to say that I did a lot of projects and I don't have any case with anybody. And it's a plus to me because we are living in a society where it is very hard to trust people, especially young guys. It is very hard to trust people, especially young girls. It is very hard to trust even your family members, especially people in the building industry. It is very hard to trust people like that. But I know so well that discipline, even when you are not getting all the money you want, even when you have to do some works below your cost level, and you still have the discipline to deliver that work, that makes most important part of you as a person living in a corrupt society. So this year, we are going to be disciplined. I'm going to be disciplined enough to execute any project that comes to me through here because I'm going to be here. So people gave me their projects and gave me their money, paid cash, without knowing who I am. And I'm not going to disappoint such people. So you have to be disciplined if you want to start your project this year. Be disciplined in your spending. Save. If you are planning to start from December, from November, from October, save so that once you are able to start, you can be able to get to some particular stage before the end. That is my advice to you. Thank you so much. I believe you will still call me. I believe, especially people in the Southeast, don't go and give your project to another person. I am here, Architect Chidi, the finance consult, to give you the best you can. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you some other time. Thank you so much.